What's up YouTube, Chris here with Modern Trust 360. Today I'm going to show you guys how to update uh, your modded console to the newest dashboard which is 17150. Um, this is similar to all the other tutorials so if you've seen you know past tutorials on updating your dashboard it's pretty much the, exactly the same way but uh, I like to make one for each dashboard to make sure people do know how to do it. Um, so first what you need to do, you need to make sure you have XEX menu installed as well as Flash 360. Um, if you have a Corona motherboard, I've actually failed to mention this in last tutorials because I thought it was kind of you know common knowledge. But if you have uh, a Corona motherboard uh, on your RGH, you need to use Simple NAND Flasher. Um, it's very similar. Uh, if you need any extra help on how to use Simple NAND Flasher, uh, if you do have a Corona, just leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll kind of walk you guys through how to do that. Um, so once you have all that installed, just go ahead and navigate to your hard drive wherever you have, uh, have Flash 360 at. Of course, I have it in my Applications folder. And I'm going to go down here to Flash 360. And as you can see, I do have UpD Flash. If you have UpD Flash.bin or Flash DMP.bin, you need to go ahead and delete those by clicking the Y button over the file, delete, and then confirm. So once you have those deleted, just go ahead and boot up Flash 360. And as you can see here, uh, you have three options. What you want to do, you need to back up your NAND to a file, which is X, and then click A to save the entire NAND to file. Uh, this is pretty much all you have to do before you do the modification on the image on your computer. So once that's done extracting, you're just going to click any button to continue, the back button, and then the back button again to exit the application. And it should take you back to the dashboard. Now the fl uh, up, uh, flash dmp.bin, which is the dump of your NAND, is going to be in the location of Flash 360 on your hard drive. So to locate that, just go back into XEX menu. And then you're going to go back to where you have Flash 360 or Simple NAND Flasher installed. Of course, that is on my hard drive, so I'm going to go ahead and go there. Go to Applications, Flash 360, and as you can see, we have that right there. So you need to get that on your computer, whether you use a USB stick, um, FTP, or Neighborhood. All three methods work. Just get that on your computer, and I'll show you guys what to do from there. All right, guys, so now that you have the Flash DMP.bin on your computer, as you can see, I have it here. What you're going to need to do, you need to download the link in the description for the new XE build with Dash Launch. And you just go ahead and open that folder up and go ahead and start up XE build and then click run. Now, once you do this, um, it should automatically pop up. And it looks very similar uh, as it always has to the la latest versions. Um, so, when you open up the application, just go to the source file here, click open, and choose your flash dmp.bin. And mine's on my desktop, so just navigate there and click open. And as you can see, everything is checked, everything is filled out correctly, including the kernel version, which is 17150. But we do need to input our CPU key. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up this, go back to my modding folder and pull that out of my um, uh, my text file that I have. Um, so just go ahead and copy that. Once you have that copied, just go ahead and paste it right in here. And then if everything's correct, you know, over here include dash launch, include dash launch settings and things like that. Just go ahead and click generate hacked image. And uh, now once you start doing this, you can see on the uh, right side it starts going through its normal process of glitching the NAND and updating the build version for that NAND, which essentially changes the kernel and updates it to the latest dash. So just as soon as this comes up, just click yes to close the application. We no longer need it. And as you can see, we have our updflash.bin. Um, now once you have that, just go ahead and put that back on your USB stick or transfer it through FTP or neighborhood back onto your console and switch over there and I'll show you guys what to do from there. Alright guys, now that you have the um, fla uh, UpD flash excuse me, onto your USB stick or you've transferred it to your console with FTP or neighborhood, what you need to do, just go ahead and go into XEX menu. Now I did use a USB stick, so I'm just going to copy it straight from that. Um, if you used FTP or, you know, for example, um, Neighborhood, you need to go ahead and copy wherever you transferred it to and make sure it is in your Flash 360 folder or Simple NAND Flasher folder. That way it's kind of easier for the application to use. So as you can see, I am on my USB stick, so I'm going to go down here and get the UpD flash top bin, and we're going to go ahead and copy that. And then we're going to go ahead and go over here to our hard drive 
and then paste that over here into our Flash 360 folder so it's able to use it. Um, so as soon as that pastes in there, 16 megabytes shouldn't take long at all, just go ahead and boot up Flash 360 and then you're going to see this screen again. Now what we need to do instead of clicking X to back it up, we go ahead and click A to write it to the NAND and then we click A again, A again to make sure we flash it to the NAND keeping our key vault configuration. Now it's going to throw a little warning message, just go ahead and click start to ignore that and then click A and it will go ahead and write that to your console. Now this again doesn't take long at all and um, as soon as it does this you're going to back out of the application your console will then shut down in about five seconds I think is what it gives you. Click A and then back and then back and it gives you five seconds and then it will shut down and then you wait a little bit and turn it back on. See if what we did uh, is if it went and you know successfully uh, wrote that to our NAND and rubbed it to the newest dashboard. So um, once you get back on your console, it should not have any avatars. This is a good sign. Um, this kind of tells us that it did update uh, correctly and that it just doesn't have the avatar update needed um, for the uh, Xbox Live service. So it should say, yeah, console's been banned, of course. I don't have a key vault, so. We're going to go ahead and go over here to our settings, go to system, then we're going to go console settings, go down here to system information. As you can see, we are on the latest dashboard. Now, when you do have your key vault and you're able to purchase a stealth service and go online, it will ask for an update. Um, that is completely safe to do. Um, it's just the avatar update. And um, so you just update that and you'll be ready to go online. Uh, so you guys, I've actually had a lot of questions here recently about how to use a stealth service. So I believe that'll be my next tutorial showing you guys how to set um, up XBL.Ninja or Xbox Live Stealth. You know, I do work for them, so of course I am going to use their service and promote the service because we honestly do offer the best service out there and we update our server immediately. As soon as a new dashboard releases, we're usually up that same day. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions about this tutorial, just you know, leave a comment below. And uh, look for that video on how to set up, set up a stealth service if you need to know how to do that.